This is going to be my data set to demonstrate the consolidate function in Excel. I'm using simple Excel tables, including some simple sales data. The first table includes the January February sales, the second is March April, the third is May and June. I also pasted the same data in a simple range to show you how to use properly the consolidate function in Excel. Let's get started. So the first thing I do, I go to the data tab and under data tools, I'm going to select the consolidate function. From there, the first thing you can set is the actual function, what your consolidate feature will do. Like always, it includes multiple mathematical functions, but for the sake of the simplicity, I'm going to use the sum this time. Then I select the reference field. Then I head over to my sheet and I'm going to select the first range I want to define for my consolidation. Then I go back to the panel and I hit add. And as you see, it has created the reference for my range I want to consolidate. Then I simply just select the second range and I hit add and the last one. In the next section, I need to check the top row and the left column field because I want to merge my data based on the records, which is in the left column. So the first column in my range. And I also want to include all the columns in the different ranges. So I need the top rows. Then I just simply hit OK. And as you see, Excel was able to consolidate the data I have in the different ranges. But let's see what happens if I add a new item to my table. Let's say I'm going to add a new product. Let's call it text. I hit enter. Then I add some values. Then I remove the consolidated range. I select the same cell. I hit consolidation. And I'm going to insert the consolidation one more time. And if you look at the consolidated range, the area, the new item is not added to my consolidated range. So it's not dynamic at all. So let me show you what happens when you consolidate tables. I'm going to remove this range. I select the same cell. I go back to the consolidate function and I simply just delete the previously created references. Why? Because each sheet can include just one reference package. Then I go back to the reference field and I go to my table and I'm going to start selecting the table. But if you look at the reference field, it's going to use simply the cell references instead of the table name which is not going to be dynamic again. So what I'm going to do, I simply remove these lines. I hit equal and I start typing indirect. I open the brackets, double quotes, and I enter the table name, which is going to be the table one first, curly brackets, hashtag, enter all, close curly brackets, double quotes, and I close my formula. And then I just simply hit add. And instead of retyping the whole formula, I'm going to just change the table name and hit add again. The last table name again, and I hit add. Top row, left column checked, and I hit OK. And here we go. The consolidate function consolidated my tables. If I go back to my third table, and I add the new product, let's say test two, add some value, one more value. I remove the consolidated range. I select the cell again, and I'm going to reinsert my reference package. And here we go. This range is dynamic. It pulled the newly added item from the table. Thank you for watching my video. If you found it useful, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and you hit the bell icon. I also appreciate if you share it with anyone who may find it useful.